is water cooling your gaming PC really worth it? Well, I think it is, and I'm going to tell you why. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me once again for another video. Please remember to subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below if you're thinking about water cooling your PC, or if you don't think it's worth it. I'd love to hear what you think. All right, so today we're gonna talk about water cooling your PC. A lot of times, one of the main questions I get asked is, is it really worth it to water cool your PC? Usually one of the primary reasons that they ask if it's worth it is because of the cost involved with water cooling. While it's not necessarily prohibitive, it is gonna be much more expensive than just slapping an AIO on there or even just an air cooler. And we're not even gonna get into when you really get into water cooling and you wanna just do design after design, then it gets a little crazy. But for most people, that's the question that they ask. So is water cooling your PC worth it? Yes, and I'm gonna tell you my reasons why. First, and this is in no particular order of importance, but I'm gonna tell you the first reason why I think water cooling is worth it. It's the aesthetics. A water-cooled build is something to absolutely strive for. Even if you're a new builder and you just put together maybe an AIO build or even an air-cooled build, maybe even you just use a stock CPU cooler, seeing a really nice water-cooled build is something to sort of aspire to, not only over time to build up your skills in order to be able to build an open custom loop, but also maybe you sell your hardware or you save up some money. So it's definitely a goal that you can have. Um, and in life, I think we always need these type of goals that are really a little bit out and at first they may seem unrealistic but they're really idealistic if you're playing sports you want to be like the best sports player even if you're not going to be that guy you know just when you're training if you think like that um, it's just more fun i think life is more fun that way and the same thing applies to water cooling even though there's a chance you may not build the biggest water cooling loop you may do it you never know you never know yourself and how you may change over the years so that's why i think it's something awesome to aspire to because aesthetically water cooling just looks absolutely insane. Like, of course, an AIO, an air-cooled build can look beautiful as well and really nice and professional and gamery. Whatever you want it to look like, it'll look like it. But there's no doubt that I think almost objectively, a really nicely done water cooling loop is gonna be one of the highest end type of PC builds that you can do. Um, and you can see even the builds that you see on the internet, people go crazy over when it's a really cool, like water-cooled system with a bunch of things happening. So it's definitely something to aspire to. The second reason, and it's not a major reason, but it is still a benefit, and this is going to be performance. I know you're probably thinking, oh, I'm going to water cool my system, spend all this money, and the performance gains aren't tremendously huge. While, of course, they are there, and in some cases, they can be pretty large gains, I don't think it's necessarily going to be the best reason for it. A lot of times, you just want to see better cooling performance because you like seeing better numbers and improvements, and that's why I do it. That's why a lot of people do it as a along with the aesthetics. In terms of performance for the dollar, I mean, most of that money that you're spending on the loop is gonna be for that visual side and just the fun of the craft of building it. Um, you know, a lot of really good AIOs and even some really good air coolers, you can get fairly close to a custom loop, you know, within a few degrees. But the difference here is that a nicely designed open loop system, while the performance may not be night and day in terms of the numbers, and of course it will be better with an open loop for the most part, um, here, you can get other performance benefits. For example, let's say if you build a large water-cooled system with a lot of radiators, you can now run all those fans at really low RPMs, maybe 400 to 800 RPM, and still get stellar cooling performance. While if you have like an AIO build with just one radiator, you may have to run those fans higher and thus louder in order to get equal performance. So when you're doing a water cooling build, one of those sort of goals that you're chasing is making sure that you have a really nice noise profile along with really cool performance. Of course, if you just say you want the best performance, you're going to get high RPM fans and crank them to the max and it's just going to be really loud. But it's a lot more challenging to say, I want really good cooling performance, but I also want a silent build, or at least one that has a nice noise profile that doesn't bother you too much. You can game without headphones and you can barely hear it. One of the best feelings in the world is playing a game at 100% ultra graphics, right next to your computer and barely hearing it. Put your head up against the glass and you don't even hear it. In fact, I'm recording this right now with this big bad boy right behind me and it has 
Now look how many fans. There's three here. There's eight on the bottom because it's push-pull. Another four on top. So that's 15 fans total. It has two D5 pumps. I can't even hear it. You can't even hear it in the recording. Now, if I had it maxed out with the fans, of course you're gonna hear it, but that was one of my goals, was to be able to make a really nice water-cooled system that you can barely hear, or if you do hear it, it's nothing too crazy, nothing too intrusive. So this is one of the really big benefits of water cooling. Now, of course, you can also build a silent system with an AIO or even an air cooler. Air coolers can be very quiet, especially if you're using a really good one like a Noctua or Be Quiet. But in general, you can still get better performance at a quieter noise level in a large loop than you could with some of those. And then we come back to the questions of aesthetics. It's just a little bit more of a visual marvel to have a nice open loop in the system um, rather than just you know an AIO that it's a little bit easier to put on there or even an air cooler while those can look amazing and I, I do builds with them as well and I really like them for what they are nothing really is going to beat a sick water-cooled system for the visual aspects and some of these little performance perks that you get not necessarily in huge temperature differences but in maybe better noise and the way you can manage everything it is pretty interesting Another reason you should water cool your PC is if you're the type of person that you like looking at numbers and you like controlling many varied aspects of your build. For example, in this build right here, I have an Aqua Computer Aqua Aero 6 and it's literally individually controlling all of the different radiators and fans. Even the two pumps since I have a dual loop in here but they're two separate loops. I have that system set up where each pump, I can set it to a certain noise level, you know, to a certain RPM. The fans, I can sort of put a fan curve. You can really have nice granular control over every element of your build. Now, is this necessary for performance or even to play a game? No, of course it isn't, but as a hobbyist, as a PC builder, this is one of the things that you really take pride in, just having such a deep connection with a computer, sort of intellectually, knowing what's going on, knowing when you change something, how it affects it. It's always a lot of fun to change components and see how they affect performance, and you can still do that in other builds, like an AIO or an air cooler, but the effect is so much more dramatic when you're doing a big water cooling build like this. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, leave a comment below. Have you ever considered building a water cooled system or have you done many already? I'd love to know. All right, guys, so I'll see you on the next video.